I'm a big fan of it. I am more optimistic today about India as a whole, economically, than I have been for a long time. India has got many things right in the last few years. Among those, digitization is right on top. India's successful efforts to digitize payments has a fan following of its own. And no, we aren't saying it. Ajay Banga, the World Bank president, said it in as many words. Digitized. You can't just do digitization of lending without digitizing the infrastructure. What India has done over the last 15, 20 years, it is digitizing the infrastructure and that is enabling all these terrific applications to be built, which makes it easier for people to access services online. So I'm a big fan of it. Sir, how do you see the Indian economy? I just told the other guys the same thing. I am more optimistic today about India as a whole, economically, than I have been for a long time. The fact is the world economy is in a difficult place, right? We, you know, it has outperformed what everybody thought, but it doesn't mean that it won't be more challenging. The IMF forecasts, the World Bank forecasts are that the world will get a little challenging over the next year or so. But as I said in a speech this morning, forecast is not equal to destiny. We can change destiny. And that's what we should think about. But why is Banga so gung-ho about India's digital payments? Digital payments have successfully brought millions into the fold of regularized economy. Leakages have stopped to a great extent. Ease of payments is another factor. And that's just a few. There are several other reasons why digitization of payments could play a crucial role in the future. And India has taken massive strides in this direction. Just in the last few years, stay with us as we take you through the incredible growth of India's digital payments over the last five years. In 2017, UPI processed over 100 million transactions worth 67 billion rupees. In 2018, the year-on-year -year growth was 246%, with the worth of transactions growing to 1.5 trillion rupees. 2019 saw 67% growth in transactions, with over 2.9 trillion rupees transacted digitally. With a 63% growth in 2020, 4.3 billion rupees worth of transactions were processed by December 2020. 2021 saw a year-on-year -year growth of 72%, with 1.49 billion transactions worth 5.6 trillion rupees. Interestingly, in 2022, the total UPI transaction value accounted for nearly 86% of India's GDP. Yes, you heard that right. Payments that are on record with minimum leakages, if any, are helping a great deal in making India world's fastest growing large economy. That too amid a global slowdown. Banga himself is more circumspect about the global economy, which he thinks is in a difficult place. If you like watching this video, please like, share and subscribe. The tomatoes look good. What should I grow next year though? How can my farm adapt to climate change? You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead, think growth.